Hi everybody, this is Tuplex, and welcome to my Factorio Let's Play series. Um, I'm going to be doing this with a focus on um, tutorial, on teaching uh, newer players some of the things that I've learned, uh, because I want to give back to the community uh, that has taught me so much. Um, as such, uh, in this playthrough, I'm going to be basically trying to do a fairly quick and efficient build-up to a rocket launch. Um, and because of that, I'm not going to be uh, adding a lot of complexity that's not required to make that rocket get into space. Um, so I won't be doing trains, I won't be doing uh, modules, robots, things of that nature. Um, it's not really a speed run that I'm going to do here, but uh, I'm also not going to do anything that's not really necessary to, uh, to get to a single rocket launch. Um, so for people who are playing through maybe the first time uh, or the first couple of times, uh, this is geared towards you guys. Uh, just to kind of give you a framework of what, what are the, the necessities to get that first objective uh, for most new players, which is to get a rocket launched. And then in future playthroughs, uh, if this is successful, uh, I'll do more in the future where we'll do things uh, bigger and more complicated. Um, <clears throat> so here are the map settings. Uh, we're doing uh, low frequency and very big size on iron, copper, and crude oil. Uh, stone and coal, uh, a little bit less. Um, actually, coal we want to be very big as well. Okay, and I'm going to put the uh, I'm going to put the map exchange string in the comments uh, or in the description so that you guys can play the same map that I'm playing if you wish. Um, and uh, just to let you all know, this is my first time doing uh, Let's Play on YouTube, so um, definitely appreciate your feedback. Any way I can make this better and more enjoyable, please let me know in the comments. So here we go. Let's generate our map, um, and basically I'm going to uh, restart this map a couple of times because what I want to do is I want to make sure I've got uh, big patches of coal, copper, and iron close by. And uh, to make things a little bit easier as well, uh, I'd like to do this with uh, a desert biome so that we don't have to spend a lot of time chopping down trees. And uh, Wow, that's a lot of iron. Actually, let me check my uh, let me check my settings again because I want to make sure. Okay, yeah, I do have this on peaceful mode because I don't really want to deal with uh, enemy attacks. Uh, we will have to kill enemies sooner or later so that we can get um, alien technology. But uh, I don't want to be attacked while we're trying to build up a base because that makes things a little more complicated. And again, this is. Uh, this is more geared towards beginning players, and we want to make things fairly easy to facilitate learning the game. All right, and what I'm doing here is I'm looking up at my mini map, and uh, I'm going to restart because, as you can see, we've got a little bit of coal here. We've got some iron over there. I don't see copper anywhere on the map, so uh, this is not going to be a good, a good map for us. So we just restart until we get a good uh, configuration. So here we've got desert, which is nice. <coughs> this might work. Uh, we've got iron, copper over here. No, nope. let's try again. So apologize for the slowness here. Uh, sometimes uh, this is just what we have to do to get uh, a map that we're happy with. So we'll restart a few times. This one looks promising. Uh, not a lot of trees. We got a lot of copper up to the north. Let's see uh, how big that is. I would like to see a little more coal, but I think that's not going to be a big problem. Yeah, that is a nice big chunk of copper. Uh, iron, mm, that might be a little too small for us. You know what, I think we're going to work with this. All right. So, <clears throat> first of all, we need a couple iron axes. I'm 
I'm going to gather up uh, a little bit of wood from the ground to uh, provide some starting fuel for our furnace. And the first thing that we're going to do, uh, our first objective is to have power. All right, so, um, so what I want to do to start with is to get some iron going because we need that for just about everything else that we're going to build. So we'll take our first furnace, or our first uh, mining drill rather, and our first furnace, and we'll get those going. Uh, I'm going to press the Alt key so I can see what everything is doing. And while that's working, I'm going to gather some more stone, because we need stone to make more furnaces and mining drills. So uh, one stone furnace takes five stone. Um, and uh, the mining drills also require a stone furnace. So basically, for every two uh, furnaces that we make and nine iron plates, we can duplicate this setup that we have right here. So for the early game, uh, what I'm shooting for are four of these. I'm gonna need some more wood. Uh, here's some over here. Actually, let's get some coal instead. Um, coal has uh, significantly more energy than wood, so you burn through it less quickly. As you can see, one uh, one unit of wood has four megajoules of energy, and coal has eight. So basically what that means is whatever you're powering, it's going to run twice as long on a single piece of coal as it would on a single piece of wood. Uh, so we want to get to using coal instead of wood as soon as we can. It'll make our lives easier. All right, so now that I have the coal, what I'm going to do is control left click. I'm sorry, control right click, we'll put half of it there, and then control left click, we'll put all of it in there. All right. So we need to keep getting more stone, and we need to get some more fuel there as well. What I want to do now is I want to build two more mining drills to start gathering coal for us automatically. And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Okay, 10. So what we'll do is go back to our coal. And we're going to arrange them like this. And what that'll do is that'll cause this drill to put its output into this drill. This drill will then use the coal that it just received to fire itself up. It'll put its output into here and so on and so forth. So, um, and as you can see, it basically builds up. So uh, these will each hold up to 50. So by doing this, these will run uh, without you having to add any fuel to them. And uh, whenever you need more coal, you just come by here, you control left click on each one, and you'll take out whatever coal they have inside. So that's a very convenient way to, to keep your coal supply going so you can feed your drills and uh, furnaces. Okay, that's still running out of wood. I'm going to take the wood out and get that coal instead. Okay, uh, let's get some more stone. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get one of those drills going on the stone so that we don't have to continue to use our pickaxe. And I'm going to make a wooden chest to put that into. And uh, we'll eventually get two of these going. All right, we'll get that started on wood. Pardon me. <coughs> and in the meantime, we'll get some more stone. You need a lot of stone at the beginning. Later on in the game, you don't need quite so much. So 10, that gives me enough for a couple more furnaces. I'll grab that. I can make another drill. And then... Um, what we'll do here is we'll have two of those putting stone into the same box. Let's go down and get some more fuel. And uh, we're going to want to make uh, two more of these setups on iron. So again, I'm going to control right click, 
control right click that basically puts half. Okay, and uh, we've got almost enough for another two setups. I need a little bit more stone. Get myself another furnace. Okay, so now we've got four and four, which is great. Let's grab more stone, and I'll just be making stone furnaces. As I move around the map here, I'm going to grab some more coal. And while we're here, <coughs> I'm going to increase this to uh, four drills on coal. So that we can uh, get our coal faster. And so basically what we're going to do here is get a circular arrangement where each one feeds the others. And again, each one can hold up to 50 pieces of coal before they stop drilling. So that'll give us up to 200 pieces of coal at a time. So you can see now, we're getting coal at a fairly rapid pace. All right, and we definitely need it. Okay, so now that I've got some iron production going, uh, the next thing that we're gonna do is set up copper. Um, for copper, in the early game, I want to set up two of these configurations. We don't need quite as much copper as we do uh, iron at the beginning, so that's why only two. So my copper's up here to the north. That way I'm going to grab the wood that I see along the way because we are going to need that wood to make power poles. And again, since uh, getting power set up is our first priority, those power poles are going to come in handy. Yeah. And I didn't bring any coal with me, so... Back for the coal! As you can see, there's a fair bit of running around at the beginning of the game. I'm actually going to move my coal over here since that patch of coal is a little more centrally located than the one that I have right now. It should reduce the amount of running around that we have to do. So, come over here, grab the coal. I'm going to pick up these drills and move them over there just north of that lake. Okay, and that gave us plenty of coal in the process. So we can feed things. So I'm pick up the iron as I go. Uh, control left click on any item will will take out whatever it's got inside. So uh, that's all I'm doing when you see me pick these things up. Okay, and you only need one piece of coal to get things started. If you right click, you'll drop one off the stack. See? Alright, so then one starts drilling, it starts to feed the others, and these will uh, get that coal production going again. Alright, so let's head back up here and uh, put some fuel in our copper. There we go. So that'll start mining copper. Now what we need here for our power, we want 14 boilers and 10 steam engines. Why? Well, because it has been discovered through experimentation by the factorial community that uh, that is the optimal ratio for one water pump. So we need to pump water into the boilers. 14 boilers will be able to heat the water sufficiently to drive 10 steam engines. So that is our initial goal here. So I'm going to start making my boilers. So I'm going to go right click, right click, one, two, three, four left clicks. Each right click will queue up five, and the left click will queue up one. grab our copper because we are going to need copper to make uh, the offshore pump. Okay, so we're going to make one offshore pump. We don't 
have quite enough iron for our steam engines, but I'm going to go ahead and make as much as I can right now. If you shift and left click, you will make as many as you can make. So uh, that said that I could make nine, so I did a shift left click and it queued up all nine. We are going to need one more, but uh, we need some more iron so that we can do that. So let's go down here and grab some more iron to get one more of those going um, and we're also going to need some inserters and we're going to need some power poles. Let me gather up some more wood while we're waiting for that so that we can construct more electric power poles. Uh, the only problem with the desert uh, biome or, or this one which is maybe not desert but uh, arid I would say is that wood is fairly scarce. So. Um, you might have to do some hunting around to get the wood that you need at the beginning, in the early game. Um, once we get the technology for steel, then we can start making uh, medium power poles. And uh, then we won't need wood really at all, uh, except for wooden boxes if you want to do that. I do use uh, wooden boxes so that I don't... Uh, waste my iron or steel on boxes because usually I don't fill up the boxes anyway. Okay, so I'm going to queue up uh, 15 or 20 power poles. Uh, we do need inserters and belts because uh, we eventually want to get our copper feeding into our power automatically. But for now, uh, we have almost everything we need. The only other thing I'm going to do is to pipe to grounds. And we'll see why in a minute. Okay, so <clears throat> let's figure out where we want to put our pattern. Now, eventually, I'm going to want to have my production going from left to right, somewhere around here. Um, so I think a good place to put our power production will be to the right side of this lake. There are some coal patches very close by, so it'll be a convenient way for us to move coal into our power production. Uh, there's another big coal patch here, which we can use to drive the furnaces that we're going to need for smelting iron and copper. So um, I think this will be a good place for power. I'm going to start up here at the top, and then as I expand and add more power production, I can move down. Uh, if we fill all this up, we even have more water down there. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go do that, and uh, while I'm setting that up, I'm going to get a lab and 10 science packs in my crafting queue. Because the first thing we're going to do after we get this power going is start some research. Alright, so I use these underground pipes. I use a full length underground pipe here. And then I put my 14 boilers. And then I use another full length underground pipe. Whoops, that was too far. There we go. And then I put my 10 boilers, or steam engines rather. The reason I do that is uh, so that I have some room to feed coal and, uh, and to walk around. If you go to the pump to your uh, boilers, to your steam engines without any space in between. You've got this big line of equipment that you can't walk through and you end up having to go around things quite a bit, uh, which is not very convenient. So, <clears throat> all right, so we'll put in some power poles. I'm gonna put the power poles on the south side because that is the direction that I will expand in later. And basically you can left click and hold it down and just run along the length of this. These poles will be placed at maximum distance. Uh, and which is uh, a space of two in between the effective area of each power pole. So you see that blue square that shows you the area that that power pole can cover. Uh, and you can have two spaces. That's the maximum spacing. All right. Now in this case, since each steam engine has a width of three, um, every one will be covered at the maximum spacing which makes for efficient use of power poles. Okay, so there's our science lab. Automation is the first thing I want to research because I want to get these assembly machines 
so that we can start to automate the production of some of the supplies that we need. And uh, I made those science packs already. I'm going to put those in the lab. You can see that we need, well, you can't see it there, but here you can see that we need 10 red science packs to research automation. So now we're basically ready to go. All we need to do is put in some fuel. And we have electricity. Uh, this power setup will give us up to about 5.1 megawatts of power. If you left click on a power pole, you can see how much you're consuming and how much you're producing. So we can see here that 60 kilowatts for one lab is only using a very small percentage of the power capacity that we have right now. So this initial setup will last us quite a while. We won't have to upgrade that uh, until we get the game fairly well underway. I'm going to get some more coal here. Um, now the very next thing that I want to do is build some burner inserters and some belts so that we can um, so that we can get our coal to feed automatically into our uh, power production so that we don't have to do that ourselves. Okay, so I'm going to make 14 inserters. Okay, that's one for each boiler, obviously. And uh, I'm going to queue up a bunch of belts. And I'm going to queue up two electric mining drills, which we're going to put on that coal patch there. All right, so again, I'm going to set this up to the south because that's where I'm going to expand, and you'll see why. So there's 14 burner inserters. I use burner inserters here because uh, since we're only feeding coal, um, the burner inserters will not need electricity to run. And uh, the coal that they get from the line here will be used to fuel themselves as well. So it's kind of a self a self-sustaining setup. And uh, the benefit of the burner inserters is that if for some reason your power goes out because you run out of fuel, as soon as you get fuel running down that belt again, they'll be able to power themselves up and uh, get your electricity going again. Okay, so uh, I just need to get some electricity up there to the mining drills. So let's do that. Okay. Now we can see that we're consuming a little more power. Those two drills uh, are using about 180 kilowatts. And we should have power now going to our, or I'm sorry, we should have coal now going to our fuel production facility. Okay. And uh, since we research production, we also have the ability to make assembly machines. So I'm going to build two assembly machines and two yellow inserters, which do use electricity to run. And that way we can get our science packs producing themselves uh, some, let's say, semi-automatically. Uh, we are going to have to feed materials ourselves. Uh, but for the early game, this is a nice and easy way to get science going. So uh, we can see that our science packs, red science packs, need one copper plate and one iron gear wheel. Okay, so we'll set this up to make science packs. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to feed copper in here manually. Okay, and then we'll get this one making the gears. I'm going to load iron plate in manually. And uh, what I'm doing here is I'm setting up my tool, my toolbar. So I have belts uh, on my first key uh, and um, my inserters on the fifth key. So I can hit a number five and that'll give me my inserters. I'm going to hit my middle mouse button here and that sets a filter so that um, so that inserters will always be in that slot. All right, now I just need to put power there. Okay, now we're making gears automatically, feeding those here, and this is making our science packs, which is then going to insert in the lab. We just have to tell it what we want to research next. The next thing I want is logistics, because we want to be able to make fast inserters, underground belts, and splitters. Those are going to be very important for setting up our smelting operation. So that is the very next thing that we're going to research. 
we can see here that coal is starting to build up at the end of our uh, line of belts, uh, which is a good sign. That tells us that right now those two miners are uh, more than enough to keep the power going. Now, as, uh, as we start to use more and more electricity, uh, obviously it's going to use more coal. So we just need to keep an eye on that. And uh, if we see that our, our coal starts to uh, get used up faster than the drills are able to go, then we just add more drills. Pretty easy. Okay, so uh, that's going to do it for this, uh, for this video. Uh, in the next one, we're going to start to set up our smelting operation. Again, if you have any comments, uh, suggestions, questions, uh, please leave those in the comments, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.